that's 20 level difference, massive spells, fighting things that would kill me in just a couple hits. But seeing that kind of thing going on around me really made the world feel more alive and made me feel more connected to the other players and then gave me incentive to keep, keep. And so we're going to be trying to find ways to do that. We got another group. Every step of the way. Very cool. Just noticed a, another group over here. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it may, it may uh, be good to mention at this point that this is an open world game. It's, a, it's not an instance game. Um, we have lots of overworld adventure areas, overland dungeons like this one. Um, we didn't zone into this area. We just came into it, and there may be multiple groups in here. But even in underworld dungeons or dedicated dungeon areas, those will be open world as well. There will be multiple groups in there. Um, new people in here that haven't really heard a lot about the project. Some kind of the overarching questions. Like, for instance, I'm seeing a lot of questions on how the payment method is going to be for this game. Is this a one-time buy plus monthly? Free-to-play, which I don't think it is. Like, what, what is y'all's plan for, uh, for that kind of stuff? So a couple of our songs are on this playlist called Play This At My Funeral by Ali Mann. I just can't imagine anyone listening to this at a funeral. That's a pretty messed up funeral. Side by side. So we're going to have um, uh, several shards at launch where players can just download the client and play for the first five or ten levels for free. We want people to really have a chance uh, to experience the game, make sure it's the game for them before there's any, you know, before they're reaching into their wallet. Um, but since wow. this game is, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're building a game that it's not about jumping in and power leveling through all the content and then getting sick of the game in a, in a couple of weeks and moving on. Um, we're uh, bringing back most likely the sub-base sub, the sub uh, revenue model where once uh, you've reached that level and decide to continue on, uh, it would probably be something like $15 a month. Um, that will help us uh, keep the game fresh, make tweaks, make adjustments, uh, as well as support uh, an expansion team. Um, and then there'll be fairly regular expansions. Um, how those will be dealt with isn't set in stone yet. It's probably gonna be you know, DLC, download it uh, for a price. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's the, the current plan. Uh, definitely, it's not it's not a free to play. It's not about uh, cash shops and how much money you have in real life. 